James Webb alignment finished. New images revealed by NASA. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has completed its alignment. Following a thorough examination, the observatory was found to be capable of capturing sharp, well-focused images with each of its four powerful onboard science instruments. After completing the seventh and final stage of telescope alignment, the team held a series of key decision meetings and unanimously agreed that Webb is ready to proceed to the next and final stage of preparations, known as Science Instrument Commissioning. This will take approximately two months before scientific operations begin in the summer. Before we jump into the video, please let me know what more you expect for the James Webb Space Telescope in the upcoming future. In today's video, we will see new images revealed by NASA after the James Webb Telescope finished its alignment, so make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell now. Without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. The alignment of the telescope across all of Webb's instruments can be seen in a series of images that cover the entire field of view of the observatory. The remarkable test images from a successfully aligned telescope show what people from all over the world can accomplish when there is a bold scientific vision to explore the universe, said Lee Feinberg, Webb Optical Telescope Element Manager at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. The telescope's optical performance continues to outperform the engineering team's most optimistic predictions. Webb's mirrors are now directing fully focused light from space down into each instrument, and each instrument is successfully capturing images with the light that is being delivered to them. The image quality delivered to all instruments is diffraction limited, which means that the fineness of detail visible is as good as physically possible given the telescope's size. The only changes to the mirrors from now on will be very minor, period adjustments to the primary mirror segments. With the completion of telescope alignment and half of a lifetime's worth of effort, my role on the James Webb Space Telescope mission has come to an end, said Scott Acton, Webb Wavefront Sensing and Control Scientist, Ball Aerospace. These images have profoundly changed the way I see the universe. We are surrounded by a symphony of creation. There are galaxies everywhere. It is my hope that everyone in the world can see them. Engineering images of sharply focused stars in the field of view of each instrument demonstrate that the telescope is fully aligned and in focus. For this test, Webb pointed at the part of the Large Magellanic Cloud, a small satellite galaxy of the Milky Way, providing a dense field of hundreds of thousands of stars across all the observatory sensors. The sizes and positions of the images shown here depict the relative arrangement of each of Webb's instruments in the telescope's focal plane, each pointing at a slightly offset part of the sky relative to one another. Webb's three imaging instruments are the NIR CAM, wavelength of 2 microns, the NIR ISS, wavelength of 1.5 microns, and the MIRI, wavelength of 7.7 .7 microns, a longer wavelength revealing emission from interstellar clouds as well as starlight. NIR spec is a spectrograph rather than an imager but can take images, such as the 1.1 micron image shown here, for calibrations and target acquisition. The dark regions visible in parts of the NIR spec data are due to the structures of its micro shutter array, which has several hundred thousand controllable shutters that can be opened or shut to select which light is sent to the spectrograph. Lastly, Webb's fine guidance sensor tracks guide stars to point to the observatory accurately and precisely. Its two sensors are not generally used for scientific imaging, but can take calibration images such as those shown here. Now the Webb team will turn its attention to science instrument commissioning. Each instrument is a highly sophisticated set of detectors equipped with unique lenses, masks, filters, and customized equipment that helps it perform the science it was designed to achieve. The specialized characteristics of these instruments will be configured and operated in various combinations during the instrument commissioning phase to fully confirm their readiness for science. With the formal conclusion of telescope alignment, key personnel involved with the commissioning of each instrument have arrived at the Mission Operations Center at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, and some personnel involved with telescope alignment have concluded their duties. 
Though telescope alignment is complete, some telescope calibration activities remain. As part of scientific instrument commissioning, the telescope will be commanded to point to different areas in the sky where the total amount of solar radiation hitting the observatory will vary to confirm thermal stability when changing targets. Furthermore, ongoing maintenance observations every two days will monitor the mirror alignment and, when needed, apply corrections to keep the mirrors in their aligned locations. Now, you may be wondering why everyone is always talking about the James Webb Telescope only. Well, there are so many reasons. Yes, so many. I'm not kidding, because James Webb is kind of a time machine. Isn't this shocking? Well, I know this sounds practically impossible, but wait, I have gathered all the information for you. So, how can JWST look back in time? The James Webb Telescope will help astronomers not only look farther out into space, but will also take us back in time. With the new telescope, astronomers are hoping to study the very first stars and galaxies in the universe to understand its secrets. James Webb's Golden Mirror the new telescope is at least 100 times more powerful than the Hubble telescope. And with its golden mirror, astronomers are hoping to catch glimpses of the universe like never before. For the best view of space, one needs to be in space. And that's what Webb will do. While Hubble's mirror stood at 7.8 feet in diameter, the James Webb Telescope's mirror has a diameter of 21.3 feet, allowing it to capture six times more light than Hubble. A better understanding of our universe's history. All images taken by Hubble reflect not only galactic systems, but also a collection of the universe's history. With Hubble, scientists were able to peek into galaxies that formed 400 million years after the Big Bang. James Webb Telescope may be able to bridge that gap and show images from 250 million years after the Big Bang, taking us closer to the starting point of our universe. Besides just seeing galaxies, the new telescope will bring more detail to all images, including spiral arms, more light, and better structure. Understanding the Dark Ages of the Cosmos Before the first starlight appeared in the universe, the whole universe was essentially covered in a primordial gas of sorts, which has led to this era being called the Cosmic Dark Ages. Scientists believe that the earliest starlight from the first galaxies helped lift this cosmic fog. But, with the help from the telescope, they hope to expand their understanding of this fog. Infrared Lighting While the Hubble Telescope collects images in mostly ultraviolet or visible light, James Webb will mostly take pictures in infrared, revealing more detail about the objects in those images unlike ever before. With infrared imaging, astronomers may be able to peek into extremely old galaxies, owing to a process called redshifting, wherein light is stretched as it appears and disappears, leaving a red trail behind. With infrared, Webb will be able to capture extremely old galaxies that are currently being pushed farther away from Earth and becoming redder. That's how you look back in time. The telescope will deploy itself in space. Owing to engineering challenges that were faced, we're building the whopping $10 billion James Webb Telescope. Scientists decided it was the best to fold the telescope inside a rocket, which will then be deployed far away from Earth in space. The distance from Earth is important because our planet is warm, which is picked up by infrared cameras quickly and something astronomers are keen to avoid. The distance from Earth is huge. While Hubble was only 547 kilometers away from Earth, the James Webb Telescope will be millions of kilometers away from Earth, roughly four times the distance between the Earth and Moon. If anything were to go awry, humans would not be able to service James Webb, something engineers were able to do with Hubble after they realized something was wrong with its mirror shortly after launch. Simply speaking, the James Webb Space Telescope will either work or it won't. We're definitely counting on the former to see all the magic stored in our universe. Well, that's pretty much it for this video, and I will see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video and want to watch more videos like this, then hit the subscribe button and ring that bell icon so that you will never miss any updates.